Hello, Joey speaking. Hello, is that Mr. Carlstrong? Yes, yeah, speaking. Uh, are you okay to talk now? Yeah, we can have a chat for sure. Okay, um, we're just sort of following on from your appearance on this morning. Yes. And the sort of debate that's sort of sparked online. Yeah. Um, and we just, uh, just wanted to sort of maybe interview a bit more about line of questioning from Philip Schofield. Yes. It, um, he, it was more just about the, the language. Yeah. Of, um, of just some of the language you were using in the interview. And uh, we, we, uh, we ran a poll and the question was, is it right to refer to farming as rape, murder and slavery? Um, and we had two options and the first was no, it, it is highly offensive to victims of such crimes and the second was yes, it is exactly the same thing. And we had about, I think, I mean, we've never seen so many um, votes in one of these polls. Uh, we had about over a thousand votes and 80% was no. Okay, so... The poll that the man is talking about was one that was in the Metro. Originally, it did have 80% say no, but then when some ethical people found out about the poll, they evened out the votes. And we just sort of, sort of wanting you to sort of, you know... Address that? Tell us, tell us more about what, okay. why okay. you okay. such language and stuff like that. Well, just because people have voted no, that's an appeal to popularity, okay? Yeah. Now, those words describe the exact act we are talking about, okay? So when you're talking yeah. about taking a, a, a being's life that wants to live, okay? Now, you're forcefully yeah. taking their life from them. Uh, okay. Murder's a word to, you, to, to describe that. Now, word, uh, murder isn't just an anthropocentric term. I mean, if you search what do you, through what the... Do you mean by that? Uh, murder is not just the premeditated killing of one human by another. There's other meanings to the word. So if you look in the dictionary, that word is actually... Yeah. Um, has non anthropocentric meaning to it as well. Yeah, what does that what does that word mean, anthropocentric? To do with humans. Okay, okay. Um yeah, yeah, carry on. Okay. Yes. So um the term slavery, I mean to enslave a being, um yeah. the, the these animals are not free. Okay. They 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 are herded. In in many cases they are caged. Um mm -hmm. they are exploited for their bodies. Okay, and yeah. they, they are killed when the farmer determines that. They have no yeah. liberty. They have no freedom. So if they, aren't, if they aren't enslaved, what are they? Are they free? I mean, I just don't understand what, what, what the problem is with that word. Within, they are enslaved. They are not free. They are not free to live their life as they please. Now, what was the other one? Rape? Is it, is, do they have a problem with rape? That, yeah. Well, ra so rape, no, rape murder, and slavery. Rape. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so the act of forcefully... Um, uh, so forcefully penetrating someone sexually in their in their in their private parts. I mean, I, I don't see like like we could just okay. So let's let's. I don't see why that isn't rape. I don't I don't see why that isn't. I, I just don't think they see the victim as um, worthy of using those words. Um, I don't think they see animals as victims. But let's just steer away from the semantics right now. Let's just steer away from the word games. Okay, and let's just, how come people want to talk about the words and don't want to talk about the morality of the act yeah. itself? They steered away from that and the, the farmers did not address the act yeah. itself. They wanted to play word games. Now, let's change the words of what we're describing is happening to animals. Let's just say we're, we're killing them against their will. We are yeah. forcibly penetrating their private parts. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, we we we're doing. They are doing that to them. They're they're molesting them. What what word do we use? Um, they are taking away their their freedom, their liberty. Yeah. They're exploiting their bodies for monetary gain. Okay, now 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 let's just take away the, those words and and how how about we talk about the acts? I mean, would the public vote yes or no to that? Yeah, it's just the words. That, you know, like probably some of the most powerful words. We have in the English language, so I mean, they 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 I mean, do what the animals are going. They 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 those words still do not do what the animals go through any justice. Yeah, those, they're not powerful enough. They're not powerful so enough. No way. Yeah. Like, have you seen what happens to an animal in a slaughterhouse, my friend? No, I've never seen. One. You've never seen what happens to an animal in a slaughterhouse, my friend. You've got to watch Land of Hope and Glory. It's all current. 
RSPCA yeah. approved, High Welfare, Red Tractor approved, Abattoirs and Farms in the UK, Land of Hope and Glory. Watch landofhopeandglory.org, okay? Uh -huh. Watch that, and you tell me if those three words are more offensive than what's actually happening to animals, okay? Uh, Land of Hope and Glory. Land of Hope and Glory.org. Show that and do a poll to the public and say, oh, do these words do this justice? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I would like to see that. The thing is, my friend, the public yeah. haven't seen what we've seen. In my eyes, those words are nowhere near as offensive as what we're actually doing to pigs, cows, chickens, fish, lambs. Nowhere near yeah. as offensive. For someone to have a sandwich with the flesh of an animal that's been thrashing in a gas chamber and just wave it in my face, an, a an activist, someone who, who, whose job it is to stand up for these innocent animals, that is not offensive, right? I'm, I'm ridiculous for claiming that that is offensive, but for saying to someone that they're murdering an animal when they're taking their life against their will, that's offensive? Yeah. Like, where's, where's the logic in this? I just don't see the logic. I mean... So, so your, your campaign now, are you trying to sort of show what's going on in these abattoirs to a to more of a national level, you know? But, sort of. uh, yeah, I mean, I totally understand people's perspective. I mean, the majority of yeah. people that you are, you are putting this poll out to, they haven't oh, seen... Yeah. They haven't seen what happens inside of an abattoir. I've been inside of an abattoir when they're decapitating animals, okay? I've been out the front of a, a gas chamber while they're lowering pigs into uh, to gas. Uh, the majority of the public haven't. So when you put out a poll, you is put... Why, is that why you think... Um, is that why you're using these sort of quite strong words? Because you've seen it first hand? Well, I rarely use the word rape. I don't know why they're saying that I use the word rape. I, I, I explain the act, but because people play word games with me. And I, I don't like getting lost in semantics. You know, like, it, it steers away from the, the what I'm actually talking about. Okay. Like, which the farmers wanted to be more offended offended over words than what they were actually doing to these cows. She didn't even address the fact that they send all of those mothers, when they don't produce milk for them anymore, to the slaughterhouse. <laughs> they don't mention that part. They didn't even want to entertain what I was saying. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so how, how do you um, think you're going to be able to get your, your point across without um, offending... Uh, you know, victims of like rape, murder, and um, slavery to an extent. Is it? I mean, is it an impossible task? I will um, never not refer yeah. to animals as slaves because they are. I will never not yeah. do that. Okay, that is an injustice to the animals to not refer to them as slaves. Okay, mm -hmm. because they are not free. All right, yeah. they 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 are enslaved for their reproductive organs, for their bodies. They have uh -huh. no say in anything. They have no choice. Now, um, just because they can't voice their suffering, just because they can't ask for freedom, they don't want to be enslaved. Look at what happens to them. <laughs> Tell me what it is. What, what word would you use? Some medical terminology like insemination or um, like to take I'll away... What... Yeah, no, but... No, no. I mean, that, that's the sort of... That's what's been used. Um, yeah, but it's against their will. That they have no, there's no consent. So we're taking away consent. If you artificially inseminate a human, they've given you consent to do that. Okay, doctors will have consent to artificially inseminate a human. Where is the cons yeah. where is the c consent from the animals? So we have to add that into the context. You can't just say it's artificial insemination. It's against their will. Yeah. So, so it's, if we're talking semantics, we have to say against their will. Is that what you're saying? Well, for insemination against their will, or will you continue? Forcible impregnation. I've, I've never actually publicly used the word uh, rape recently. I don't know um, why people have, uh, where, where you've got that from. Go through my videos, I mean, um, yeah, I mean, rarely use it. I rarely use it because of silly, silly tactics like this. People avoid, yeah. avoid um, the issue. issue. Like people like yourself, my friend, like you've never seen what happens to an animal in a slaughterhouse. You've never seen cows have their children stolen from them and bellow out and have uh, seen bobby calves be bolt gunned in the head. Uh, you know, like you, you've never seen uh, gas chamber footage, you know, like, uh, yeah. but, but if you, just, you know, you, you want to say that words are offensive. I mean, uh, this is what the type of thing we're seeing in the public. And I, I understand yeah. the backlash. I totally understand it. And I don't, I don't blame people. But I, yeah. I just see, I just see innocent ignorance. That's all I see. Is yeah. you know? Yeah. Don't people want to like remain ignorant? They don't want to see these sort of 
things, you know. Yeah, um, I understand that, my friend. But you're paying for it to happen. Your your yeah. your money pays slaughterhouse workers to stab cows to death. Without, I'm not putting my money into those industries. I buy vegan burgers, vegan pizza, yeah. okay. Not not gas chambered pigs, okay. Mm. You're paying for gas chambers, you know, when you eat animal products, and that's what we're saying. The public um, are, are ignorant to something that they are funding. They are causing so that it, the blood is on their hands. Do you understand? This is why they, they need to see it. If they weren't causing it, I wouldn't go show someone who doesn't uh, abuse women, uh, you know, footage of women being abused because they're not, they're not responsible for that. The person who commits the act is, but they are literally responsible for animals going to slaughter. Okay? It's supply and demand. That's how it works. So, I mean, I got an email from, um, I sent one back and you were, I said you were on tour. Are you... What sort of tour are you doing? Is it as sort of speaker talk? Um, yeah, well, I d- I d- well, I'm just trying to educate um, non-vegans. I'm trying to educate vegans on how to ad- advocate in a respectful yeah. manner. I mean, I, I I don't know where people think I'm being disrespectful. I mean, I, I speak with conviction. I do, and passion. I, yeah. I, I explain things how they happen. I mean, yeah. I'm, I, I, what I'm saying, there's factual basis behind it like uh, people can look right into what i'm saying what i'm saying is just basic welfare high welfare standard for the dairy industry i mean it's written into the books you can go check it up yourself the guidelines are standards it's all there like you know i might say it with passion because i'm passionate about it but you know um yeah my tour is about trying to wake people up like you yourself who has never seen what happens where his foods come from you eat you eat the stuff dude it's in your body you know, you're, you're digesting the flesh of an animal who didn't want to die, screamed and suffered in a gas chamber, and you've never seen the process? How can you put something in your body that you don't even know um, how it's made? Where these animals come from? Looked into the eyes of an animal before, before they've been killed. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah. It's just, just sort, of, sort of ignorance, I guess. Yeah. Oh, well, mindless ignorance. So you go through these things. Yeah, brother. Yes. Like, why? Why you want to you want to be ignorant to something that you're putting down your throat? Like, and 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 like people want to say like I seen you know on Twitter posts and that I'm forcing my views down people's throat. They're literally yeah. forcing animals' bodies down theirs. Okay, they're paying for animals to die. They're paying for their death with their money, and they're forcing animals' bodies into them into their throats. Okay, forcing pigs into gas chambers through supply and demand chain. I mean. I'm 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 merely asking people to to make better choices, to make more ethical choices on behalf of animals. If they were dogs, okay, like in Yulin, China, which I'm probably going to go to Yulin to 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 speak up for the animals there. I yeah. mean, it, would people be so against me if I'm speaking up for the dogs in Yulin? Do you think I they would? No, I doubt it. You doubt it? They'd be on my they'd be on my side, wouldn't they? Well, yeah. I mean, there's a lot of um, uproar. Okay. What is the like, difference? I think uh, people keep dogs as pets. I guess that's the only difference. P- know, pigs are just as v- pigs are just as com- uh, playful and and can be you know just as beautiful companion animal. They have the capacity to do that. There's no difference yeah. between a dog and a pig that justifies a knife in the pig's throat and um, justice to a dog. What what difference do they have? I just guess in you know, hundreds of years of owning dogs as pets. Um, like, that's probably the only difference. Yeah, but in the dog's eyes and the pig's eyes, they're both the same, like when you look at it through their eyes. Yeah, yeah of course, of course. Yeah. So this is what um, I'm talking about, brother. It's just it's pure programming. People program to believe that dogs matter and pigs don't. This is what we're talking about. It's discrimination. It's baseless discrimination. Yeah. And it's written into the guidelines for uh, the SAVE movement that it's peaceful, love-based approach. Okay, so this is all written in there, so... I don't know where they're getting this militant vegan thing from. Never met a violent vegan in my life. They care about chickens and fish. Why would they hurt a human? I don't know. Um, but we stop the truck for two minutes and we bear witness to the animals that people are paying to be killed. Okay, and we look yeah. into their eyes and we say sorry that we're trying. Okay, and we bring the photos out for people like yourselves to see. Okay, so yeah. you can see that your food had a face and didn't want to die. Okay, and, and this is a very powerful form of activism. And then we uh, we go onto the streets and we advocate to people. So we have polite discussion. It's called Anonymous for the Voiceless. And we, yeah. we show slaughterhouse footage out in public. So we bring the slaughterhouse to the eyes of the public so that, that they can see where their food is coming from. And then they can make a, a, a real choice. 
Because how can you make a choice if you're not educated on, if you haven't, if you're not aware of all sides of a choice, okay, how can you make a choice? So if you haven't seen animals in a slaughterhouse, but you still choose to eat them, that's an ignorant choice. That's not an educated choice. Look at what happens to animals in a slaughterhouse, okay, and then make the choice to, to, to continue to pay for it. And that's what Anonymous for the Voiceless is, is we're basically showing people what happens and saying, hey, you know, you don't have to support this. And yeah. we educate them. That's all we're doing. So it's all peaceful. It's all non-violent. Okay. Um, yeah, and my other question is, have you always been a vegan? And this is this is my exact point. I haven't yeah. always been a vegan. I don't yeah. think I'm superior to people like, they, like they're claiming. I used to eat, eat animals probably more than anyone else three times a day. Steaks for dinner, uh, you know, uh, pig's bodies for, for breakfast, chicken for lunch. So I yeah. know I'm, I've been on the other side as well. And if someone yeah. come up to me and just politely said to me, hey, Joey, you know that pig suffered in a gas chamber that you're eating right now? I'd have been like, wow, thanks for telling me that, eh? But, yeah. you know, I prefer to know the truth. Uh, all right, well, um, yeah, thanks again for your time. Um, and do you, yeah. do you remember the website I told you? Yeah, uh, long, what was it again? Live? No, Land of Hope and Glory. Land of Hope and Glory. Dot yeah, org. Right dot org. Okay. Check it oh. out. Hope and Glory. All right, well, yeah, thank you and um, yeah, good night. Thank you very much, mate. Bye right. bye. Do you reckon he got the picture? Got the message?